This is a ratcheting click type torque wrench. It's the most commonly used torque wrench available. In this video, we'll take a close look at the mechanism inside to see how it works. Before we jump into the inner workings of a torque wrench, let's first understand how it is used and what are the key components involved. Let's get started. Torque is a rotational force. It is usually measured in foot-pounds, inch-pounds, or newton-meters. A torque wrench is a specialized socket wrench tool designed to tighten fasteners to a predetermined torque value, ensuring consistency and preventing over- or under-tightening of the fasteners which can lead to issues like strip threads or loosening. Using a torque wrench to loosen fasteners can potentially damage the tool and affect its accuracy. Torque wrenches have a maximum torque rating, and using them to loosen fasteners might subject them to forces beyond their intended capacity. As you are tightening a fastener, you'll hear and feel a distinct click when the preset torque level is reached. This lets you know it's time to stop applying force preventing over-tightening. The handle is where you grip the wrench during use and it's also used for setting the desired amount of torque you want to apply to a fastener. The torque main scale is engraved on the wrench body with more precise subdivision markings on the handle for micro-adjustments. There's a spring-loaded locking ring used to secure the set torque value, preventing accidental changes during use. Torque setting can be adjusted by first depressing the locking ring and turning the handle to the desired torque setting. Turning the handle clockwise will increase the torque value and turning it counterclockwise will lower it. When the desired torque level is set, the locking ring can be released to lock the handle. If, for example, you want to set the torque value to 32 inch-pounds, Turn the handle until its stop edge is even with the horizontal 30 mark on the main scale and the zero mark on the handle lines up with the vertical line of the main scale. Then turn the handle clockwise until the two mark lines up with the vertical line of the main scale. The torque value is now set to 32 inch pounds. This is the ratchet head. It allows the wrench to turn the fastener in one direction while preventing rotation in the opposite direction without having to lift and reposition the wrench for every turn. The direction of rotation can be changed by moving the selector level on the back of the ratchet head. This is the square drive. This is where interchangeable sockets that correspond to the fastener size are mounted. The most common drive sizes available are 1 quarter, 3 eighths, and half inch. The sockets are held in place by a ball detent mechanism. 